Hey Saj, welcome to your quantum reading. <laughs> Look, all these decks appear all of a sudden. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. The message could be for you. Take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. All my information down below in the description box, website link, Instagram. You guys can hop over there if you would like to. And thanks so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in here, yeah? Okay. Let's see. These cards, like, oh, there we go. Yay. I was going to say, they don't really like to pop anything out, but here we go. Oh, yeah, forgiveness. So you could be working with that right now. Maybe you're working to forgive others or forgive yourself. Forgiveness is at the forefront. And typical message that is always used. It's not necessarily about you forgiving for the other person. It's for your own sanity or for your own energy. Because... Any type of negative energy that you hold on to will just be detrimental to you and your health. So it's like you could be working on just trying to legit forgive a particular energy. I can't even make up that that popped out. That's crazy. Let's dive into this, see what's going on. So you maybe you guys are actually moving into that where you're just moving into a place of forgiveness depends on what's going on here like if this is parents or something it could be that you're like they you know did the best that they could or just coming into a place of compassion over this next week I'm not sure something significant is shifting and it's just it doesn't even have to mean oh you're gonna get back with someone or or even let them in your life but you're just working on the forgiveness aspect just for your own peace of mind yeah so let's see yeah this is almost like an energetic thing because of like it's kind of cool because i do feel like with this forgiveness there's just something about the frequency that you want to stay in alignment. And so this is like just part of you. You know, I heard one time, this was ages ago, but that pain or wisdom is pain that has been crystallized. And it's that's kind of reminding me in this really interesting way like you have these little nano crystals that exist in your body they're like protein molecules there's like cryptochrome and all these different things that they have a specific molecular structure to them i know i'm just spouting off like a bunch of random stuff but you have wow how perfect too that there's this wow that is actually really amazing so it's like this is about an imperfection that you discovered either within someone else or within yourself but it's kind of like a realizing like nobody is perfect okay humans have flaws you have them I have them and that might be helping you to work with the forgiveness aspect that's so crazy that that came out like that that's so weird but you you caught a glimpse of someone's imperfection oh we have relativity e equals mc squared all right what else let's see i totally forgot to use these in the other readings and i feel bad because these are actually my favorite cards i've been wanting to use them more so bummer okay so you're beyond this now so if there was a surface, you just crossed it with an energy, which is why I think that you came across an imperfection. It did come across as perfect. Now you're, you've seen beyond it. And like, there's this expansion here that's taken place. I feel like because of this energy, because you have relativity. This card cracks me up because it always reminds me of friends when Ross is like, like they're playing that game and they're like, it's all relative. 
it's like it all depends this is like an ever-changing system of reference shifts of perspective and this is very interesting because it's almost like in this particular situation sag depending on how you look at the situation it all kind of depends like you could shift perspectives and this might happen in a very strange way i've seen this happen when it comes to the universe that you'll go through these different experiences and then y you feel like they link back to particular people relationship or experiences that you went through and you get different glimpses of the other side of the situation so it's like that might happen with the relativity card it's um like things might shift and change because of that but you are going through an expansion but i think something needs to take place before you could expand it was like being seeing beyond a surface level and coming back into alignment and it, it's something about seeing an imperfection of something is going to help you to move beyond you know so I wonder if there was a bit of pedestal syndrome that came in here. See what I was saying? It's like you link the dots to whatever took place here. You have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Swords. This is like something from the past that kind of keeps back and coming back and haunting you. This is like Casper, the friendly ghost type of energy. Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Wow, that's interesting. So that is literally a past situation. That's you as the page of wands, technically. So something from the past came back. I don't know if it's like reminding you of anxiety or I don't know. This could be just like causing some kind of disturbance or something, but... It's saying now there's a change coming in this situation. But that's coming in. Okay, hold with, hold with me for a little bit. Because you have this page of wands, which I feel like is some kind of thing about your energy. Maybe it wasn't transforming or... Hold on. Sometimes we gotta get more out before I can get the full story. So let's see. But I am going to say that's you, since you're the fire energy. So let's use the Page of Wands. Okay. So we have the Five of Swords here. I'm going to take these two. Not totally sure why, but... Okay. Two of Wands. So that's also another fire energy. Oh, wow. And the King of Wands. Okay, so it's possible there's two people in here. We have the Eight of Cups. And inside is the King of Wands. Okay, okay. Very interesting. Let's get the final outcome card. Yeah, the, you know, it's funny that the Tower card was one of the first ones that popped out at the beginning. So this was kind of something... A, shock, a shocking kind of change that took place. Yeah. So, there's the Tower and the Justice. So that's a karmic energy, but that's also, if you're dealing with any kind of Libran energy, Sag, either in your own chart, this is like a fair and balanced energy. Wants wants you know like to make things right the justice card is a person with high integrity so they like there's a person here it could be going through karma with the tower card but it's like that could be why some of the movements are kind of abrupt or shocking you know towers are always kind of shocking and this could have been an abrupt ending for some of you guys there could be a relationship like kind of dissipating it's possible here um, but it's showing me you could be starting off in some kind of new energy with the page of wands. Like you're still gaining experience on some either kind of passion or every time I see the page of wands, it reminds me of like, um, 
like exciting progressive energy like it can be about travels or you're working on a creative project or something like that but it's like your creativity is sparked right now at this time to do something specific and I think that there could be another energy around that's with this five of swords possibly I don't know like this is a really tricky energy because it's kind of like I'm not totally sure who's the possessive one like this could be an energy where you know how it's usually see the possessiveness of this so what this is showing me the way that this dynamic will play out oh, okay I'm seeing it perfectly there's this interaction that's taking place between the Page of Wands and the King of Wands. And there's a similarity that's taking place. For those of you, if this is, for example, if there's either an age difference in this, don't get caught up by gender, or some of you guys, it could be involving um, more of an attractive or like a high chemistry between two people. Yes? So this could be a strong attraction that you have to a particular person. And I do want to say that there could have been this thing that, like, the surface level looks really perfect and very well composed, but there was something about a particular energy that could have been, like, holding on to the other. Do you know what I mean? And it's almost by, like, for example, one thing that I've been observing lately is, like, particular energies that want to keep um a persona of perfection you know and there was a flaw here with the leaf like there's an imperfection about this particular energy and I think that's what's kind of grounding this because something about this like for example Sag if you if there's a person that you've been interested in or you've had some kind of romantic interest in there's just like a really strong connection here and it feels like this has also caused a lot of movement or progress in your life and experience. It actually could have pulled you out of some pretty dark energies, especially that it might be assisting you in moving beyond some past stuff that you dealt with. And I think what's happening is you might be starting to realize that a part of this person's energy and the part of the reason why they are at the placement that they're at with the king of wands like if they're coming across as highly confident it actually was because they could have been coming in like this would be an amorous narcissist for example that's such a horrible thing to say but that's like one example of this like sexual conquest on the belt but the other side of this is for example like a person here that if you've been wondering why you couldn't get it past a certain point energetically, it could be because there's this person here with the King of Wands that gets a lot of fuel from you, even just having your attention on them. Like, they get a lot of, like, pride. It's like something inside of them. So I don't know if there's something that you have about you that it's just something unique. And this person... Maybe it's a level of status that you have, Sag. It's something very specific in this King of Wands. They could have kind of like... They were struggling with communications or they didn't want to open up about their imperfections. It's almost like they would... They have more peace of mind making sure that you always see them in a perfect light and it's not real at all it's almost like you're gonna have to see that this person has flaws I don't know what in the world this is but it's kind of like there's a tower coming in here and I almost want to say that energetically because of what like what has happened with this particular person because I do think that their lack of communication skills has caused some kind of energetic drain to you and I do think that you're coming back into your energy because technically that king of wands is supposed to be you internally but this can kind of be where I don't know if this is like a lack of energy or you've just been because there's a dynamic here where it's like something about 
this dynamic has been causing you to it I think it got you fueled on a particular path but it's like you haven't been transforming past a page internally you're in the king of wands I think that's growing I think that's slowly coming in but it also could be about coming back into center with yourself because something could have been outside of yourself with this surface level like is this is seriously the most clear-cut message as far as seeing beyond the surface of this person and I just get this pedestalness you're gonna have to per forgive this person either for their lack of communication skills or for how if they were in some kind of place of desperation to move beyond their current circumstances and they could have like unconsciously or consciously whatever it was used you as some kind of fuel source so that they could get beyond a really challenging situation that they were dealing with but they didn't they didn't ever want to get beyond the surface with you they never wanted to like let you see the real imperfection about this person like I said this person is more comfortable with you just thinking of them as like this they don't want to like destroy the image that you have of them because actually they have this thing where it's there there's like a falsity about this person I'm sorry if I'm not coming across the way it, this is hard to articulate okay so bear with me for a moment but it's almost like this person there are certain things about the like the outward appearance or circumstances that aren't lining up with what they're showing to be as perfect you know what I mean there's like a misalignment and it's it's energetically showing so like if this person was in some kind of full alignment or they weren't operating from their shadow this is a little bit of shadow stuff you know if that, there would be another area of their life that would be showing that they are, like, successful, that they're in full alignment, but there's a mismatch of energy going on, and I think it's because whatever they transition to, from you to being connected with one another, there could be another energy where they need to walk away from it, because something about, like, they were trying to keep a particular persona in place, it's actually, the, it's like this could be a person here that went toward a situation that they thought the grass was greener, but it actually has caused like a lack of success in a particular area. So there, that's why if you were to actually dissect the elements of this person and really look at it in a place of truth, you would see that while this person holds maybe some kind of level of arrogance or confidence it's like there was a really particular way whatever happened between the two of you like if this person felt rejected by you or something along those lines they could have used tried to use that as fuel to gain a lot of power in their situation but I feel like energetically it's kind of drained you in the process so either you are thinking about walking away officially from this person and and looking out in different directions. But I think once you fully see the truth of this situation or see the imperfection that there's the world card isn't here, but the tower is kind of like shocking. So it's super surprising. Either you're walking away or they're walking away. I'm not totally sure which is which, but I don't think it's quite over to be honest with you I'll look into the extended and see whatever else wants to come out so obviously if you guys want to follow me over there go feel free just click on the Vimeo link down below but I'll see it just feels like this situation had to come back into balance with the justice card like karma you know this person could be confronting their karma it, it, maybe because they're realizing like they need to do that to be in full integrity with themselves but justice is a good energy it's just about whether people take that you know like that they actually follow through on their own integrity or not like that's always a free choice situation anyway Sag I'll dive into the extended if you guys want to join me over there feel free if not if this is where we leave things sending you so much love wishing all the very best see you in your next reading take care